Thank you, Lindsay. Now take a look. Remember this. We all remember this on social media. All over the world, people were pouring buckets of ice water over their heads, raising awareness and money for ALS. And we have the mother of the man who inspired this movement, really made it go viral. She's from Boston, but she is here in Kansas City with us today. Nancy uh, Freites is Pete's mom, and she is speaking tomorrow night at the ALS Association Mid-America Chapters Night of Hope. Thanks so much for being here. Oh, thank you for having me. Your son helped this thing go viral worldwide. Mm, yes. That has to be a proud moment for you. Why is this so important to him and to you? Well, um, he was diagnosed at age 27, mm -hmm. and the night of diagnosis, he told my family that we were going to get to work, that the disease had been underfunded, unheard of and that virtually no progress had been made in the fight in 150 years. So he rallied our family together and said, we're going to shout from the highest mountain, this is what I have. And he knew that it was a very visible disease. As mm -hmm. this disease goes through the body, you're rendered, your muscles are rendered atrophied and you can't, eventually you can't walk, eventually you can't talk or eat. So he knew it was a visual disease and he knew his journey. So we use social media to track his progress and to journal his progress. And two and a half years after his diagnosis, he knew he was building momentum and then the Lord graced us with the Ice Bucket Challenge. And boom, the Ice Bucket Challenge. And how much money did we raise and what what have we gained from that? Where is research now? Are we making progress? We are making progress. So the first thing I'd like to say, Cynthia, is to everybody who did the Ice Bucket Challenge in 2014, mm -hmm. we are so grateful because this is you. This is you and your family mm -hmm. who had joy when you poured water over your head and you donated for somebody who really needed it. So what has happened is we've raised, um, since Ice Bucket, we raised a quarter of a billion dollars wow. for um, research and uh, care in this um, in our disease space, but the results are, are tremendous. Prior to 2014, we had one major gene associated with mm -hmm. our disease. Since then, we have found five more. So in 150 years, we had one gene. In four years, we have found five more. And what is so important about that is that that's the target. Those are the targets, mm -hmm. and they're working really hard. And we have about 80. 80 drugs in the pipeline right now that mm. we hope to bring clinical trial at a very rapid pace. And so we didn't have 80 drugs in the pipeline no. before. It was minimal. This disease was really kind of in the shadows, as mm. you said. So it was. what is this going to mean? How is your son doing? What's it going to mean for people like him? So for, for Pete, um, Pete was very clear the night that he was diagnosed that it probably wasn't going to be in time for him. But Pete is a person living with ALS, and I think that's a huge result of Ice Bucket also. Also, mm -hmm. is that people are now living with this disease Much through longer. the aid yeah. of, of good quality care and assistive devices, but it means hope. And that is something that this, dis this disease space needed so terribly. And um, so we've heard from ALS patients all over the world that heard people saying ALS and talking about their disease. Yeah. And we know with continued help and continued support that eventually we're going to cure this thing. All right, so Night of Hope is tomorrow night. tomorrow night. Tell us when and where. You're so passionate. You've got to come and hear her speak. She's not at all done sharing what she really mm -hmm. has in her heart to say about what's going on with ALS. So tomorrow night, um, it's a sold out event. Yeah. But please go to alsa-midamerica.org. Um, okay. right. Thank you so much for coming, Nancy. Thank you, Cynthia. Thanks for your inspiration. We'll be right back.